This is the start of day two of my uh, Colombian adventure and I'll just show you what you get for your money in Colombia. So this is the hotel room where I stayed last night, which is £10. But you get a lot for your money in Colombia because it's actually a very cheap country. So uh, you've got two double beds. You don't need the air conditioning because I'm not quite in the tropics yet. You get a fan, bathroom. The only problem is that they only do cold water here, so I haven't quite made the tropics, and it is freezing cold the water this morning. But I'll show you what else you get. Um, free tea and coffee, and this is the nativity scene. The uh, Christmas tree, very nice. And then downstairs, the yeah, um, breakfast. Little restaurant. With the uh, amazing music. Buenas. And you get a swim pool. And for 10 quid, you cannot moan at the standard of accommodation you get. Um, and this is right in the centre of town. So we'll just walk up, uh, show you the high street. This is downtown Mesa. And the centre of uh, most towns here is the church. And the church is amazing, which is on the other side of the park. It's uh, quite late, it's gone 10 o'clock. I was planning on getting on the road for about seven. Uh, it never happened. And this is what happened last year when I was on the bike. All my plans go out the window. And I'll see how far I get. I've got a descent of um, probably about a thousand meters today. And then I start my climb up uh, to La Linea, which is 3,600 3, meters. But I'm not going to make that today. Um, once it goes dark, I'll find somewhere to stay again. Right, I'm going to do a pack and get on the road. See you later. Beautiful church. And everywhere you go, you'll find little coffee places selling uh, something called Tinto. But the, the good stuff, the good Colombian uh, coffee is exported. And what's left over it is not brilliant. And it's, um, it's like filter coffee with lots of sugar in there. And it's absolutely just black and flat. Um, but it does the job, I suppose. Right, see you on the road. This is a typical little uh, Colombian town. I have no idea what it's called. Um, but it's beautiful, yeah? The one thing in Colombia, you are never short of food. And apart from restaurants, 
I'm not sure what else they, these Colombian towns actually sell. traffic today because there's only two roads out of Bogota down into the uh, coast and this is one of them but here the traffic drivers are pretty good they give you a lot of room and space and they're not bothered if you're cycling in the middle of the road and because I'm descending I'm actually keeping up with the traffic which is good This will give you some idea of my day today. I'm descending off the um, mountain. I'll descend all the way down, down into the bottom of the valley. And then I'll be climbing over this mountain range here, which will take me back over 3,000 meters. Where, so I'll come down here, and then I'll go up the valley. And then somewhere in the distance um, is the town of Ibagay and hopefully I'll make it tonight and then tomorrow I climb over La Linea which is one of the main mountain ranges here but well, spectacular isn't it look at this what more could you ask for empty roads and beautiful scenery and then a climb over this mountain One of the reasons most of the roads here um, are fantastic, they're smooth, they're modern, they're new, is because they're private. What happens is the, um, the road builders um, buy a contract, they build the roads, and then they put toll stations on there. So it's normally about maybe two or three pounds for 40 or 50 kilometers. Um, and they just have the pay stations, bikes and motorbikes go through free. Uh, oh, I'm now in the tropics, it's really hot and sweaty. Which is amazing, since it was so cold yesterday on the parts of the descent. But, for a cyclist, it means the roads are fantastic. The great thing about being in the tropics is the fruit and veg you get. And one of the great things is coconuts. This is the best thing you could ever have when you're cycling. It's just full of electrolytes. And it's now quarter past 12. And as you can see, there's not exactly a lot of shade left. Um, but we have coconut man. But since as uh, Colombia is quite developed, they keep them in the fridge, <laughs> so it's nice and cold. Gracias, señor. Muy bien. And you won't get them much fresher than this. Brilliant. <laughs> This is uh, Jan that I met um, coming over the, this hill and we've been climbing for maybe half an hour and now we're descending again but he rides this every day going to school so he lives in a village on this side of the hill and then every day he cycles up over but since it's Christmas and school's closed he's part of a race so it's a three day adventure um, so, hola. <laughs> but what an amazing way to go to school every day. And he's so fit, going up the hills, he leaves me for dead. And he's only... ¿Cuántos años? ¿Cuántos años? Trece. Trece años. Trece años? He's only 13, 
but he leaves me for dead. Even if I was on my road bike, there's no way I'd keep up with him. And like, this is why Colombians are so good at climbing. I mean, look at the mountains ahead. I'm about to cycle into the town of Hiragot, which marks the, uh, by the end of my descent. Uh, yesterday I came out of Bogota, which is at 2,600 meters, and I've descended to um, Hiragot, which is 300 meters, and now I start the climb up over La Linea, which is the next mountain range and it peaks out at over 3,000 meters. Uh, the next two days, I'll be climbing. I'm gonna stop here for lunch though. It's two o'clock, uh, fuel up, and then start the climb. All right, see you for lunch. This is gonna be lunch today. Um, this is a typical Colombian place. You get set menu which is carne and trimmings and then there's a, a grill or a paria and so you get soup, uh, meat with vegetables and a drink for 6,000 which is about £1.20. Absolutely amazing and it tastes really good too. This is good. So this is the lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> They're all laughing at me. <laughs> right, I'm going to um, get my lunch and then I'll start climbing up the mountain. See you soon. The hills here are so big and oh, I've got about 40 minutes before it gets dark and somebody told me that there should be a hotel or a hostel in about 10k. Hopefully, farmer down the road is right. Oh. Right, I'm going to push on. I'd say see you at the top, but I'm not going to get there for two days. So, see you with a beer. As the sun sets on another beautiful day, you can see just how remote this place is. I mean, I've come from that ridge down back up again. And it's absolutely fantastic. Hard, hard, hard day, but beautiful. And hopefully somewhere up there, there's a place to stay. Right, I'm going to get on before it gets dark. Ciao. I finally found some accommodation, but there's no, <laughs> there's no restaurant. It's in the middle of nowhere. But one of the uh, guys who's there, he's got a car, so he's driven me up here to get some chicken, which is amazing. So it's about five kilometers down the road. So a guy called John has brought me here in his car and we'll get some dinner, take away. So I've got some food tonight. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant people. So this is uh, Jan who's driven me up to get some chicken. Hello, Jan. Hello, and decorate you. Hello. Hello. But Let's you have to decorate. <laughs> so, so the um, the child in the front, his uh, family actually speaks some English. So, like, he has a few words, which is amazing. <laughs> but like, it's, it's absolutely fantastic that I've just pitched up in the middle of nowhere, 
and Jan has taken me to get some food because there's nothing to eat anywhere uh, around where I'm staying. So absolutely brilliant. But this is what happens in Colombia. Absolutely amazing. Gracias. You decorate. You <laughs> decorate. <laughs> so he's going to be decorating soon. <laughs> Right, we're going to uh, head back to the hotel, get some food, and then get some well-earned sleep. So, ciao from Colombia. Adios. Adios. Adios, Jan. Decorate. Decorate. Blue lacquer.